I know the name Robert walks around. I have to say, I think Robert almost comes along, comes with a deep psychosis. Mary loves Dick. Mary loves Dick. The inaccuracy of mediums I've gone over before. Mediums, psychics, channelers, their claims. Their so-called ability to see beyond the physical. To communicate with the afterlife, perhaps. To recognise things energetically. And yet when these people go into haunted locations, or deal with people who suffer from some kind of, I don't know, negative implant, they have some kind of, I don't know, negativity in their aura, they seem to believe that they know these things for sure. And they probably do believe it, or at least the ones who aren't scamming people do. And they probably do think what they're getting is accurate. But until you point out how inaccurate their readings are, or their messages in the case of mediums, they won't accept that they get things wrong. They'll go, oh, it's an imperfect communication. No one gets it 100%. I'm maybe 80% or 90% sometimes, but never 100%. There'll be something a bit off, they'll say. And it's a nice belief to say that, you know, to say, well, it's communication, but it's not perfect. In my experience, the actual so-called evidence for psychics and mediums when they give out readings or messages is far, far lower, considering how generalised the actual points are, how unclear a lot of it is. But in any case, they believe. They believe they have proof. They believe they do it correctly, but in an imperfect fashion. Okay, we agree about the imperfect point you know, the imperfect idea of what they do or claim to do. Now, when we come to clearances, clearing away negative energy through a kind of healing, say if it's healing in the spiritualist church, or as a, I don't know, a meditation centre, or whether it's some kind of almost exorcism of a location, a haunted location, a clearance thereof, well, is it in fact accurate? Oh, yes, they're putting, through, you know, through the room, positive energy. Yeah, okay. Let's just say, for argument's sake, they fill the place with positive energy. Let's say, for argument's sake, they are indeed sensing something. But it may well be inaccurate. They're sensing, oh, they're sensing a really negative spirit. Or, the spirit could be telling them what happened to them, and it's actually a positive being who's then being treated as a negative being. It just makes me wonder, you know, if Derek Akora, if he has any belief in the stuff that comes out of his mouth, when he's been going around haunted locations, does he actually believe a word of it? That's a different question altogether. But if he sensed something, and it goes, oh, it's a negative one, oh, this one, it's going to, oh, oh, oh hold him back, Sam, hold him back. All this kind of stuff on Most Haunted. And it's <laughs> basically, if you had the gift, and your gift is imperfect, then how would you know that for sure? Are you being affected by something real that's negative, or something that's merely an impression? And you say you can know the difference, but with your imperfect gift, depending on how imperfect it is, how can you tell? From other people playing along with you, because people bounce off each other. They have experiences. Spiritualists have experiences. And they kind of emulate each other. They share the experience. You know, through their communication with each other. Literal, physical, you know, communication. And so they bounce off each other. And build each other up. Into the idea of what a location is. And what a location does. Oh, there's a, a male presence at Tamworth Castle. And he's sitting in his uh, he's sitting in a chair, but this isn't the chair he used to have. No, this isn't original, but he likes to sit in it because it's like his old chair, or, or things like that, you know. And people can go, oh yes, I'm sensing a man, or you know, because they could imagine it, and they can make themselves believe it. And so when it comes down to a clearance, well, imagine if you will, if they do sense a negativity. But is it a negativity relating to the location? Is it a negative spirit? Is it a spiritual being that had a negative thing happen, happen to them? 
Or is it the negativity of the person detecting it? Or is it the negativity of the people who live there or work there? Or depending on the location, whatever the case may be. And considering how inaccurate the work is, even if it's real, which I don't believe it is, but let's just say, for argument's sake, it is real, and these low-level mediums who fill the spiritualist churches are in fact offering a real service. They actually do have the gift, but in an imperfect way. And the real mediums are so rare as to be practically non-existent. You know, the ones who can give 100%, or near enough, 95% plus. Then I've got to wonder, what damage are they really doing? Especially when you look at amateurs. Amateurs who read a few books, watch a few TV shows, go to a few spiritualist groups, go to a meditation centre, become very interested, and within the first couple of years, they're already going around doing ghost hunting and trying to do clearances. You know? And who's to say the spirits want to move on? They're not really negative, but you're trying to shove them through the door. <laughs> you can imagine immoral situations there, couldn't you? A person's coming in visitation to a location they used to live in two centuries ago. And you interrupt them <laughs> and try and force them out. Get out, you, you're negative. And this is the kind of bullshit you get with people who, well, are fans of shows like Most Haunted and, I don't know, various other shows. There's a whole bunch of them over in America. Um, what's it called? Um, Ghost Adventures. And shows like that. Where people don't take it with a pinch of salt. Where people don't see it as entertainment. Although most viewers do. And people take it very seriously. And they end up acting out the kind of theatre that they see on TV. So it's even worse with the so-called amateur who believes they have the gift, believes they know more than they do, believes they can communicate with the dead, and believes it's perfect communication. And they cover up their mistakes and make it seem to be very real. And if there is anything going on, if there is any real communication or spiritual phenomena going on, the odds are they're doing the wrong thing anyway covers him up um covers him up are they are they related or are yes they, they're related yes right she covered him up she helped him how do you mean covered him up how did she cover him up sam she pre protected him right. with who the only two that protected him were herself mary and betty mary and betty i hear a spirit really loud where you're going a genius thinks he's so smart